protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com. And your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record. Reports documented a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to big pharma. The fight against the new world order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We've got it. This transmission is coming to you. Waging war on corruption. All right, you are go. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines right, of the go. info war. Now imagine, now five and a half, six years ago, my film, The Obama Deception, comes out on DVD. It's seen tens of millions of times on Google and YouTube and everywhere else. One of the top films in the country, free for download. We're selling the DVD, and we put a Google store up that we already had. We had a bunch of different shopping carts. We still do. And Google says in an email, we're shutting your store down. This film is racist. The film says nothing about Obama's shared racial, mixed racial background, white and black. It's about how he's a globalist and wants world government. Still, they would not allow us to engage in commerce. You can say, well, that's their site. You know, they're allowed to do what they want. Uh, really? So if they're, say, uh, Christians have a uh, site uh, that, that allows people to come out of business and, they, and the, somebody else can't come on it? They're advertising as if they're open to everybody, and then they don't let you. But again, there's a fight inside Google and YouTube for whether they will be good or evil. 
It's the same thing. So we need to put pressure on Google and Microsoft and everybody else so that they can't get away with the type of things they're doing. We've had the Alex Jones channel that's got like 400 million views. Again, just one of my channels with 400 million views. It's like 500 and something million with other channels. Count all the channels together. It's got to be 600, 700 million views. I haven't had time to count it all up. It's huge. That's conservative, by the way. And again, that's just one area we're reaching people. Our biggest audience is terrestrial radio every day with over 3 million terrestrial listeners six days a week. I'm not bragging. I'm saying we're real media. We're big media. We're bigger than MSNBC. We're bigger than CNN. But we don't have all the trappings, all the, all the facades. But they know we have the giant audience, and they're scared. The communist Chinese are censoring almost every major movie that has any criticism of communism or, or Chinese leadership. It gets censored. Red Dawn, the list goes on and on. That's a form of massive censorship. You've got the chilling effect with the NSA spying on Fox News, uh, the Associated Press. It came out two weeks ago. Drudge Report is being spied on by the Justice Department. We already knew that. InfraGuard sued and got some of the documents with former Congressman Bob Barr that I'm being spied on, Drudge is being spied on. They're giving government briefings on how bad we are. They have Pentagon briefings that we've covered and played here on air where they say, we can't lie to the American people anymore because of the Drudge Report. See, they're not worried about the New York Times or CNN because they control them with fake left-right garbage. But they don't control Infowars.com. They don't control DrudgeReport.com, and they don't like that. I mean, the government surveils us. Jimmy Carter's out today saying, you know, he knows he's being spied on. Everybody's being spied on. Rand Paul gave a speech last week at Berkeley. We're going to keep Mark Dice into the next hour with, uh, with uh, David Knight, who's riding shotgun. The David Knight's got special reports on some big Second Amendment victories uh, and then also pedophile rings from Mexico to the U.K. That, that have been exposed in mainstream media. Big deal on that front. That's coming up in the second hour as well. But the point I'm getting at is the system's losing. Gandhi said, first they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they attack you, then you win. Well, we're, we're now to the attack mode, okay? So that's a very positive thing that that's happening right now because people within the system now know we're telling the truth. People within Google and within Microsoft and within the Pentagon, the majority of the Pentagon, no, we're telling the truth now. The system is in big trouble. What are they going to do? They're going to shut us up with, quote, Chinese-style net censorship that CISPA and SOPA and the rest of them admit they're modeled after. So they're trying to bring in cybersecurity right now, not to protect the Internet, but to shut it down. And you've got the anti-gunners at South by Southwest two weeks ago, we covered this, bragging that they were going to start being able to censor any pro-gun websites on Facebook and not let gun shops be on there to advertise legally. We've had listeners pouring in their letters, shutting down their Facebooks because they have a gun shop and they're advertising their guns there. You can't sell guns on Facebook. It just advertises, we have guns, as you live in, say, Phoenix. The, most newspapers won't let you run your gun ad in them. Most uh, websites won't. This is the censorship, folks, a unified oppression. Then you've got the demonization, saying you're racist or you're a hater if you criticize collectivism or communism or socialism or globalism or Agenda 21. You've got that going on. You've got CISPA, SOPA. Uh, you've got Senator Rockefeller saying we'd be better off without the Internet. Let's get rid of it. You know, you know, I mentioned Facebook. Uh, and don't forget, this year they've legalized the CIA and Pentagon being involved in domestic propaganda lies. That's Associated Press Reuters. Uh, they're ordering the Pentagon to go out and engage in psyops against the public. Total tyranny. So that's just some of the things that we're facing and dealing with. You've got 10 different Democratic senators calling for a return to the Fairness Doctrine. That's kind of like the Affordable Care Act's called Affordable when it's not. Patriot Act's called Patriotic when it's not. It's called the Fairness Doctrine that you can't have any political views that aren't basically socialist or that the government doesn't agree with. They're calling for that on talk radio. All of this is happening, all of this is going on right now, and it's a very serious situation when they just announced last week that they were going to give government, this is on Infowars.com, an article by Paul Watson, they were going to give government certified super mods, moderators, the power 
to just go through the Google YouTube system and shut down sites for, quote, community guidelines violations. No cussing, no profanity, no nakedness, no nothing. The socialists find it not right to show that Democratic constituents in Austin, Texas, and Washington, D.C., and Los Angeles, California, 90-plus percent say, kill all conservatives, take their guns, or put them in death camps. Because we're going to defeat them if we just show what scum they are. I've gone to show the Federal Reserve in San Antonio, private Federal Reserve, and protested them raising our taxes through the income tax that they're paid. And they had my video and my site taken down till I threatened to sue them, and I got into a whole court process, and then got the connections into the higher levels so that I wouldn't have to get into lawsuits with them anymore. That's how that happened. Because they explained to me there's super mods and government corporations, you name it, that are doing this. So I had to be a super mod and go above their head. I haven't even told Mark this yet. I gave him an email to one of the head people to be able to even get them to review it so his site would come back. Most people don't get that. It's only because Mark's gotten big enough, as Jim Garrison, the guy that exposed the Kennedy assassination, said. He said, I'm still alive because I'm in the sunshine, because I am a big mouth. It's when you keep your mouth shut, the wolves take over. It's when you don't speak out against censorship or bullying, you get dominated. So we're going to have Mark with us 15 minutes in the next hour, and, and we're going to get some comments from David Knight at the InfoWars studio coming up. But, but Mark, a big backlash helped you get back up there. We had some contacts in there as well to get it immediately looked at this weekend. But again, people say, so what if some guy with 60, 70 million views, whatever it was, got shut down? Why do I care? You know, I'm a Democrat. I saw him celebrating you were shut down. Don't these idiots get it? I mean, if they were trying to shut down Michael Moore, I would defend him. Don't they have any common sense, Mark? They don't. And as you saw in some of my videos, the petition videos, when people support a particular president or an ideology, they will literally sign their name, birth date, and a signature uh, to eliminate the rights of the opposing party. Show so short-sighted that they don't understand. They, they literally just can't even think more than five minutes into the future about what may happen, what will happen once the coin is flipped, once a, an opposing political party is in power. And thank you very much for for helping me get this channel back. And you've articulated this situation so well. well listen, don't thank me, Mark. We're in a war. They're going to get are. our guns. They say our kids belong to them. We are soldiers in full-level combat. It's a pleasure on Saturday morning to be on the phone. It's a pleasure to be fighting. This is a war. We're going to kick their ass. And, you know, and if we didn't, this is a constant battle. And if we didn't put up this resistance, by this point next year, just virtually anybody that was speaking out, you use the word bossy. You, you say that somebody's bossy. If you just criticize. The first lady the says, don't use the word bossy. I say I don't like it. That pig wants to control our speech. She's a book burning witch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to come back and give you the floor. I didn't mean to rant. Stay there. See, he's mentioning how they're trying to control the language. How they're saying you can't say bossy, uh, kids can't draw a picture of a gun, they get arrested in art class. Uh, if you eat your pastry wrong, it looks like a gun, the police come. This is a total, total takeover. Mark Dice, censored by YouTube, channel taken down because he was conservative, because he was a Christian. We know the videos that got censored when we came back. He, he was criticizing, devil worshiping. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com.
The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only...